Well, hi, boys and girls, and welcome to my YouTube channel. And today we're going to talk about this fabulous photograph of America's number one pinup, Cindy Margolis. Now, not only am I going to tell you about how I put this together, but I'm also going to tell you a little bit about how I discovered Cindy Margolis. And uh, it really is directed towards some of you models that want to find out how to promote yourself and get yourself out there to be successful, and also to photographers to add new talent to the talent pool so that we have more exciting models to work with. So stay tuned and I'll tell you the story behind America's number one pinup, Cindy Margolis and how I discovered her. Well, it all started off when I went to a Eugenia contest and Cindy was one of the contestants there and I spotted her and thought she had great potential. So after the Eugenia contest, I approached her and said, hey, you know, I could probably do some things with you. Um, I've got clients that would love to have you in posters, calendars, and other various different projects. So you ought to come and uh, see me sometime and maybe do a shoot, and I could update your portfolio with some new photographs. And um, she agreed to that, and um, we set a date. Now, unfortunately, Cindy didn't show up for that, uh, that get-together, and her mother called me and told me she was having some car problems. So I never got to see her. But later on, she sent me a card. Here's the card right here. And as you can see, she's written in here all the description of herself and uh, meeting me and all that kind of jazz. But what she was doing is she was making these little greeting cards and sending them out to clients for future uh, opportunities and prospects. Um, I thought it was a great uh, thing that her model would do that was to... Uh, uh, take the incentive to uh, promote herself. So what happened after I received that card was I got a project where I was uh, going to shoot a poster with three different models and a client requested uh, Cindy Margolis after I had told her a little bit about uh, the girl and uh, she also agreed that she thought she had a great look. So Cindy came down, did the shoot with me and when she was there I got to talk to her a little bit more and she told me about how she was sort of networking and trying to, you know, get into the business and make something happen for herself, which obviously I thought she was doing a great job at. I had struck up a friendship with her and we'd worked on another couple of projects together, which was great. And so I was very aware of what was happening to her and her career. It just so happened I got a gig with Landmark and I was shooting a series of calendars and when I was on the phone, with someone at Landmark Calendars, I asked them if they were interested in doing the first solo calendar of Cindy Margolis. And they said, yeah, that would be a really great idea. So knowing that I could do that, I got Cindy on the phone and I said, hey, you know what? I would like to be your manager and I can get you your first solo calendar. And she said, if you can do that, I'll sign with you and you can be my manager. So. I called Landmark back and said, I think I've got Cindy Margolis. And they said, fantastic, we'd love to commission you to do a solo calendar on her. And I said, fabulous. I'm going to call Cindy back and tell her the great news. And between the two of us, we decided that we were going to come up with some kind of tagline for her. And I thought America's number one pinup would be a great tagline, which we went with. And we produced the very first solo calendar. Here it is right here of Cindy with all these fabulous shots inside and uh, it took us a couple of days to put all the shots together but this was her first solo calendar. Now how I got that shot was kind of interesting so I'm going to tell you a little bit about that too but the thing that I really wanted to emphasize for you models out there is Promoting yourself, getting yourself known by working photographers is very important. And in the case of Cindy, she was sending out all these little cards of herself and obviously staying in touch with lots of photographers and acquiring jobs. So that really pushed her into the forefront of being a top model in California. When we got the assignment to do the first solo calendar and I tagged her as America's number one pinup, she was already pretty popular on the internet and guys were just loving her because she just looked fabulous in a bikini and uh, fabulous in other jobs that she was doing. But the great thing about her at that particular time was she was all completely natural. There was no, um, no extra added anything. Now I'm not saying that people can't have that done, I'm just saying at that time she was also using that as a ploy to get more work to say, hey, you know, I'm all natural, this is what you see is what you get. So that was pretty good as well. Now, when we first approached the project, 
we came up with different ideas to, to shoot for the calendar, and one of the things that Cindy brought to me was this cover of the Playboy Book of Lingerie, which she had done. And she had managed to get hold of the Polaroid. So I was able to see exactly what the photographer at Playboy was doing, and she said, if you could make something like this happen, that would be great for the cover of my new calendar. So that's what we did. Now, how this came about was that I had a friend of mine who owned a modeling school at the time, and he was shooting a lot of people for their portfolios, and he had a room set up there that looked like a regular room. And so what I did was I went there after asking him if I could use the place, and he said, yeah, no problem. So Cindy and I went down, and I set up the lighting as best as I could to try to copy and emulate this warm tone thing going on. And as I said, I got the Polaroids here so I could see. And even the photographer actually put information on the back, which was kind of uh, helpful as well. Although I knew exactly what I wanted to get once I got the room set up. But we, we, what we did was we added a colored gel in the background to get this warmth through this window back here. And so back here is the colored gel on a light and in the front of her is a nice reflector reflecting the light back in again. And I think I had another light over here someplace just to add some more exposure to the whole image. But anyway, that's what we did. And uh, it turned out great, as you can see there on that calendar. And uh, we spent the next couple of days shooting all the other different ideas that we had for that. And that's really how it all came about. I went on to produce some more things with Cindy. We did a couple of shows with Entertainment Tonight. We did a couple with Hard Copy. And I think there was also another TV show we did as well. But one of the interesting things I got to do with Cindy was that she got to be one of the announcers for a ring card girl competition out in Atlantic City. And that competition was owned by, and I didn't realize at the time who this gentleman was, Donald Trump. And this was prior to him being president of the United States. So I had a personal encounter with Donald Trump for a week. I got to talk to him, got to see him, and I thought he was a very intelligent, polite individual. So all you people that have other ideas out there, you know what? I met the guy. So I liked him. And uh, we had a great time. We were out there for a week and uh, the ring card girl competition was fabulous. Now here's the card that we did for the ring card girl competition in Atlantic City. And it's got Cindy on the front, and they had the Barbie twins. They were also there as well doing their thing. But uh, it was a great, uh, great event. I went on to do a bunch of other things with Cindy, and then eventually she went off to do some other things with some other management companies. So that's the story about how I discovered Cindy Margolis, America's number one pinup. Well, if you like that story about how I discovered Cindy Margolis, you might want to pop over to my blog, andrefelixphoto.com, and check it out. I got lots of interesting stories on there, plus also some great photographs that will inspire you to go out and create some images of your own. I've also got a PDF you can download called Tips and Tricks. That also will inspire you to go out and do something of your own, I'm sure. It's got diagrams and other helpful information in there. You can also follow me on Instagram. If you like the stories and you like my videos, subscribe, leave me a comment, tell me what you think, and all I can say is thanks a lot and Bye for now.